In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this floral portrait using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Droll here. And as you can see, this is the final output. Now, it, the layer panel looks like a mess and it don't get overwhelmed by it. It's actually a pretty easy effect to create. Uh, and to do it, let's open the photo first. So I'm going to go to file and open the photo. Select the original portrait, open it. First of all, let's unlock the background. Double click and unlock it. Now I know a lot of people hate it, but you will have to use pen tool. There is no other way around it. So just grab the pen tool and run with it. Now I know using pen tool is pretty difficult, but here's a 30 second tutorial just to get you started. First of all, do a click. Then do another click. But when you do the second click, do not release your mouse key. Just drag it and it will allow you to shape it in any way and form you want. Once that is done, do another click, but sometimes it will go wonky like this and nobody wants that. So before you do your another click, close the handle. How do you do that? Hold your alt key and option if you're using Apple and click on the dot. The handle is closed, then do another click and drag and then repeat until you regret becoming a graphic designer. Just kidding. And in case if you want to move around the dots or the handle on their own, just hold your control key and do a click and then you can move it however you want. It's not that complicated. So I'm going to do my best to finish up this selection as quickly as possible. Okay, we did pretty all right job at making the selection, but it's fine. Now to turn it into actual selection, just hold your control key and hit the enter and it will become a selection. Once the selection is ready, we need to make a copy of it. So simply press control G. So now if I turn off eye of layer zero and you look at layer one, we only have that little face, but that face is still here and I don't want that. So load up selection again, you can go to select and reselect. And if this is not available, you can hold your control key and click on the thumbnail here and it will automatically turn that into a selection. Now activate your layer zero and then click on your layer mask. Right now, everything is inverted. Don't worry about it. Just make sure your layer mask is active and then press control I and boom. This is on different layer and this is on different layer. This is exactly what we need. Now we need to make three, sorry, not three, two copies of this layer one. So press Ctrl J once and then Ctrl J again. So we have to copy. Now rename first one. So I'm going to rename it to something like depth and then rename this one to edge because we are edgy. Just kidding. Uh, right now we don't need, need this main layer one. Let's just rename it to, you know, uh, main face part floating thingy, whatever, who cares? Now take this and put it at the top and turn off the eye, forget about it, it doesn't exist. Right now, only thing that exists is edge because we are edgy. Just I, I need to stop making that joke. Okay, so select this one, right click and go to blending option. And then first of all, apply a solid color. So click on your color overlay, then click on the color box here. And the color code I'm using is 8963 and 52. Uh, that's it hit ok then apply a pattern overlay but as you can see pattern you cannot see it because color overlay is at the top so go to your opacity and make it 90 percent now if i zoom in you can see the pattern and this is exactly what we need so activate your pattern make sure opacity is 100 and scale is 101 and in the pattern style i'm actually using extra heavy canvas and if you cannot read the names, just click on this little dot here and select large list and you will be able to read the names like this. So select extra heavy canvas and hit OK. This is done. Now turn on your depth one. So activate it, then right click and again go to your blending option. Here go and apply inner shadow. And in the inner shadow, the mode is going to be multiply, opacity, keep it somewhere around 50, angle should be 75 distance 190, choke 0 and size 250, everything is default, then go and hit OK. Wait, we forgot a step. <laughs> Let's go back, right click and go to planning option. Uh, we also have to apply a solid color. So click on the color overlay, but this time make the opacity 100%. And in the color, 
टाइप नाइन टू फाइव फाइव थ्री नाइन सो दिस इज़ द कलर कोड हिट ओके हिट ओके नो हेयर्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू मेक श्योर डेप्थ इज एट द टॉप एज इज एट द बॉडम नाउ एक्टिवेट योर डेप्थ एंड सेलेक्ट योर मूव टूल देन यूज योर एरो कीज ऑन योर की बोर्ड एंड प्रेस द लेफ्ट एरो की कपल ऑफ टाइम्स लाइक दिस अंटिल यू रियलाइज दैट वाओ दैट्स रियली कूल होल विच ऑनली लुक्स हाउ गुड बट दैट्स इन हाउ सो आई थिंक दिस लुक्स गुड नाउ वी विल ऑल्सो अप्लाई सम लेयर स्टाइल्स ऑन द मेन फेस सो एक्टेड द मेन फेस टर्न इट ऑन दैन राइट क्लिक गो टू ब्लैंडिंग ऑप्शंस एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आम गन अप्लाई इनर ग्लो सो एक्टिवेटेड इन द इनर ग्लो द ब्लैंड मोड इज सॉफ्ट लाइट अपैसिटी थर्टी टू नॉइज जीरो एंड द कलर शुड बी प्योर वाइट सोर्स इज एज चोक इज जीरो एंड द साइज इज फोर्टी एवरीथिंग एल्स इज डिफॉल्ट यू कैन सी द नंबर्स आफ्टर दैट आम गन अप्लाई ए ड्रॉप शेडो In the drop shadow color, obviously black, and the opacity is going to be 35 because I want a little bit, you know, more punch. Angle should be 75 as well. And in the distance, it's going to be 43. The spread is 9, size 57. Everything else is default. Then go and hit OK. Now we need to move it around as well. This time, don't use your uh, arrow keys. Instead, simply press Control T. So one, you can move it around. Another, you can actually rotate it. But before you rotate it, do you see this little dot here? Yeah, select that and put it here, and then go and rotate it. So it will allow you to rotate it from a certain angle. Not that it matters much, but it makes your job a bit easier. So I'm gonna put it somewhere around here. You can always change it later, so no need to worry too much. Uh, I think this this is fine. Then hit OK. So we made the hole. Now it's time to fill it up with the flowers. and for the flowers go to file and then select place embedded this is the actually same flower file that we used in typography tutorial if you want to use any of this pictures the download link is in description so use it first of all i'm going to select this bouquet then place it uh, confirm it for now now this should be under the main face so go and put it here like this then press control t hold your shift key and make it smaller rotate it whatever it's free range anything that pleases you is more than enough so i think for now this looks mm, okay confirm it now i want only this flowers as you can see here nothing more than that and i'm going to remove rest of it so for that apply a layer mask then select your brush tool in the brush tool make sure opacity is 100 and the color here is black and make your brush bigger for that you can use your bracket keys so i'm going to make it bit bigger yeah that's good right click and also make sure hardness is somewhere on like 70 80 not full 100 or not 0 70 80 that should be enough then uh, make sure mask is active and start erasing from wherever you don't like it So I don't want it almost nowhere except this portion. So I'm gonna go and start erasing. Looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing three times using the same photo. I'm gonna go to my file, then I will select place embedded. Select the same photo, place it. and another tip you can reduce your opacity to see like wherever you are placing your photo in case you need it you know it's difficult to judge sometimes uh i want this flower here but i only don't want in this little portion here so do you see this depth of uh, piece here so we only wanted on that right you can use selection of that hold your control key and click on the thumbnail you have the selection now go back to the mask of your flower that you are trying to erase now what do we want to erase outside of this selection so go to your select and inverse and boom everything is selected outside now you can simply go and erase it like this it saves a lot of time so hand it tip uh now i'm going to remove the selection so go to select and deselect now go and make the opacity back 100% and <laughs> we forgot to erase it from here uh it's already looking pretty all right now i'm going to go and fill up this portion
Okay, this is going surprisingly better than I expected and all the work with bouquet is done. Now I'm gonna add some solo flowers to fill up this top portion and give some variety in the colors. So go to file and the same thing, place embedded and I'm gonna select this flower, uh, go and place it, make it smaller, hold your shift key when you do it. So I'm gonna make it smaller and put it here like this. And just like the last time, make sure this flower is uh, under your face uh, and on top of your, all of your bouquet flowers. Now I'm gonna make another copy of the same flower. So press Ctrl J, select your move tool and then move it down here like this. Press Ctrl T, rotate it around a little bit. I think this looks nice, confirm it. Now these two flowers, they have the same color. So it's kind of difficult to differentiate them. So first of all, I'm gonna add in a shadow. Make sure you add the shadow on the top flower. So right click and select blending option and the same deal, go select drop shadow. Uh, I think this is already looking pretty good. Just increase the opacity a little bit. Uh, that's nice, hit okay. Uh, and you can also change color of the flowers. So I'm gonna change color of the bottom one here. Do you see it? this one? To do it, it's super easy. Create new adjustment layer and then select use saturation and then turn on your clipping mask here and change the hue. And you can have any color you like. So I'm gonna give it a little bit red. You see, that looks nice. Uh, and maybe decrease the saturation slide. Perfect, go and close it. So all the flowers that we were going to add, that's done. Now let's do some shadows. And before we do that, I would actually like to group all the flowers so it's easy to manage. To do that, activate first flower, the first bouquet, hold your shift key and click on the top one. Make sure everything is covered and then press Ctrl G and bam, everything is in a single group, easy peasy. Now let's add the shadows. First of all, I'm gonna add the shadow of this face on top of flowers. To do that, create new blank layer and make sure this layer is under your face but on top of all of your flowers. So double click here and rename it, you know, face shadow. Uh, and then grab your brush tool and the brush, make sure opacity is like 30, 40%, not more than that. The color is black and in the hardness actually, make sure it's 0%. We want really nice soft shadows. Then you go here and you start painting like this and add in some shadows. I think we did a little too much. Uh, I would like to reduce the opacity. So go and make it like uh, 80, 90%. Uh, I think that's a lot better. And if I turn it on and off, so you see the difference it makes. Now we also need to apply some shadows here as you can see, but if I try to do that, it goes outside. So how do we fix that? Clipping mask. So right click here and select create clipping mask. And now when I paint it, the shadows will only show up on the flowers and that's super convenient. So as you can see, after adding the shadows, there is a lot more depth into the photo. Now let's look at how I created the little piece here. To do that, it's the same process. Activate your main part floating thingy. Really shouldn't have named that. Uh, now activate your pen tool and make a little piece here like this. Whatever shape you like using, just draw it. Once your selection is ready, just like last time, uh, hold your control key and press enter and you have the selection. Now simply just press control, shift and J and you have a separate piece. Now just select your move tool and move it out like this. And then you can press Ctrl T, rotate it, place it wherever you feel like it and confirm it. Now the problem is we kind of created this hole but it's empty. Uh, and also I think this edge is really sharp, uh, whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna add in a flower to make it look not empty. <laughs> and having some overlap also helps. So go to file, place embedded. And this time I'm gonna select this really nice little pink flower. Uh, and make it smaller and make sure that this flower goes on top of your main part, you know, face. So put it here like this, make it teeny tiny. Then confirm it. And also we have to add a shadow here as well. And it's actually super easy. Uh, just create new blank layer, rename it. 
then make sure that the shadow is under your flower then select your brush tool and make sure opacity is pretty low like 20 25 percent and then make the brush size of your flower and do a click and maybe do it again and boom there is your shadow and that's basically how i created entire effect now i'm going to show you how to make model black and white but keep flowers in color and also eyes it's super easy uh, make sure you activate your layer zero here then create new adjustment layer and select black and white and it's automatically black and white close it now we want eye to be in color so do you see this layer mask here uh, make sure your brush is active and the color is black and this time make sure opacity is 100 and then just erase it from the eye and we removed something from outside so i'm going to change it to white and fix it that is done now i'm going to show you how to make this one black and white so here's the main part face uh, make sure this is active then you activate your layer one this little piece at the top and you have to group both of them so simply press ctrl g and they're in a single group it's the same deal but in a group so now create another adjustment layer and select black and white and turn on your clipping mask click the only that piece will be black and white and this flower and rest will be in color and just like the last time i'm gonna make the eye colorful and the final effect is ready you can do some color correction maybe uh, i'm just gonna apply a curves at the top and make it a bit brighter uh, and a little bit contrast that's pretty much it i don't think there that we need to do anything else so i really hope that you cut up someone's face and fill it with the flowers and make it look beautiful uh, okay in all honesty uh, i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop